Hi, my name is Kristen. Last year, I was enrolled in MKTG 281 and had to complete a market research project. That was part of the project. See that photo of those shoes on the page? Well, here's the thing. I used to be a store manager at Skechers. This was my store. My employee discount was 50% off on shoes, and with this being an outlet store, the prices were already pretty cheap. I could get some great discounts on my purchases. So yeah, going back to that photo, all those shoes you see in the picture? Well, I own all of those shoes. I purchased all of them when I was an employee with Skechers. It's a lot, I know. See, I'm what you would call a bargain seeker. Bargain seekers are referred to as the type of individual who will purchase items they don't need because they are on sale. Now for a little backstory. I've worked at a variety of malls within the city of Winnipeg for the past 10 years, including the one seen here. The thing is, when you are working at a mall five days a week, you are constantly being inundated by sales and promotions. Now here's the thing about shopping malls. They are actually designed in a way to make it easier to part with your money. Malls appear as though they are somewhat of a small community, with events and other activities taking place inside, but they really are a money-spending trap. With the convenience of many stores in a small indoor area, and posters hanging in every window enticing you with their sales, it makes it way too easy to spend your money, especially when you have to be in the mall every day for work. Two other stores that have become spending traps for me are Winners and Marshalls. This is an example of the compare at pricing used at Winners, the original retail price has this item listed for $100, but the price at Winners is $49.99. That's half off. What a great deal, right? Well, not exactly. CBC Marketplace actually conducted an experiment to test out the compare at pricing of items at Winners to see how they actually compared to their genuine retail price. The compare at price of many items found did not match the actual retail price listed for the item. Sometimes, the deals at these stores are too good to be true. I'll also use shopping in order to combat stress. According to a survey from Clicktail, 40% of shoppers use retail therapy as a way to calm down, while 74% said they have stress shopped in the past. Retail therapy and impulse shopping also tends to be much more commonly done within brick-and-mortar store locations compared to with online retailers. Now that I'm no longer employed at a mall, I have become much more conscious of my spending habits and try to focus on only spending my money on necessities rather than making spontaneous purchases. Going back to school has made me realize that when shopping on a limited budget, I have to be more focused on what I purchase and only buy things I need rather than things I want.